Hey everyone, this is Joanne Del Balso from No Fuss Accounting Services, and um, in this video, I wanted to do a follow up on um, the video I previously posted on um, how to do reimbursable expenses, how to invoice a customer for reimbursable expenses with markups. Um, one of the questions one of my clients had was, what if you have different percentages for different markups? How do you handle that? And um, the process is very much the same. There's just one little tweak to the whole process. So um, if you want to review the process of how to get it all set up, you can see my previous video. Um, otherwise, we're just going to move forward um, in this instance. So the example we have, I'm just calling up a check is we set up reimbursable expenses for $100 and it was for widgets. We're being real creative with our sample here today and to an unknown customer. And for the same customer, we're also paying this unknown payee uh, reimbursable expenses $200 and we're gonna say this was uh, two hours of consulting work. So say for example that this vendor um, did some consulting work and then we also ended up buying widgets from them. So we're going to make sure that these boxes are billable and then we're going to hit save and close. Now the key to this whole um, changing of the markup is in when you're invoicing. Okay, So we're going to go in and we're going to create the invoice for our customer. Again, select the outstanding time and bill and then underneath the expenses. Now when we go through this process we want to go through this one at a time if you're doing a different percentage markup. So the first time we're going to choose this, we're going to keep this at 40% like we did before, and we want to make sure that we're using our markup income account. Print the selected time and cost as one invoice item, that way they won't see the markup on the invoice, and then we're going to hit OK. Again, like in the last video, we're going to copy this description and pop it on the last line so it'll show up. Then what we're going to do, it's nice to save in between. It was very loud. Uh, and then we're going to go in and we're going to add time and cost again. And now we're going to get the second line item. And let's say we wanted to do this at a 20% markup. Again, print the selected time and cost as one item and we're going to hit OK. Then the last step is to copy the memo and put it on the last line. We can hit save, watch your ears. Ow. And then we're going to print. The print preview, as you see, it shows the description with the markup price and the total down at the bottom. So I hope this answers any questions. Again, if you have further questions on this or want to explore this further, um, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or you can send me an email at info at nofussaccounting.com. You can also send me a tweet um, on Twitter and my Twitter handle is at nofussacctng. Uh, that's N-O-F-U-S-S a C C T N G. Uh, thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll be back soon with some more videos for you guys. Thanks.